It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, on today's episode, I am embarking on a great journey. I'm going to be going through all four sides of Made in Japan from Deep Purple, their classic live album. I have had this album for more than a year and I've never put it on the turntable. Well, that ends today, y'all. It's been over 300 episodes since we last listened to Deep Purple on the channel. So uh, getting to their music today is long overdue. I have previously heard their classic album, Machine Head, in its entirety. I listened to it in two installments, uh, one side at a time. I have also previously heard Child in Time, which originally appeared on their fourth album, Deep Purple and Rock. But when I went back to look, I realized that the version that I heard of Child in Time was actually from Made in Japan. Uh, but I heard it almost two years ago, and I was thinking, do I go back and review the same track? And I think my answer is yes. It's deserving, and I wanted to go through this live album in its entirety because it's one of the classic live albums in the classic rock repertoire. And uh, I just had to get to it, y'all. Plus, it's a purple disc. So I've got to I've got to put it on here. So side one is going to be Highway Star and Child in Time. And the audio that we're going to be hearing is going to come directly from my vinyl. I ripped it in and uh, it's from my copy and we're going to have some fun today. Y'all, first a little bit more background. Uh, Made in Japan is Deep Purple's second live album. Their first was Concerto for Group and Orchestra, and I'm planning to get to that one later this year. I think on my Patreon uh, more than on YouTube. Uh, the album was recorded over a three-day period uh, in Japan in August of 1972, and both songs that we're going to hear today uh, from Side One were recorded at the same concert, August 16th, 1972 in Osaka, Japan. This was the band's first tour of Japan, and they were approached by their label, uh, Warner Brothers, to record the concerts for a future live release that was supposed to be specifically uh, exclusive to Japan. Uh, but they ended up releasing it worldwide, and it ended up going platinum in just a few weeks. And that's a testament to the band's skill and their reputation as great touring musicians. Uh, like I said, I've had the live album for quite some time, and it is a long past time that I get to it and put it on the turntable and enjoy it a little bit. Um, both of these songs, Highway Star and Child in Time, are slightly longer than they are on their original studio releases, but not extremely like lengthened. So I think they're going to still relatively have the form that we're used to. Uh, but they're going to add their magic like they do on stage. So let's get to it, y'all. Richie Blackmore is on lead guitar. Ian Gillen is on the vocals. Roger Glover is on the bass. John Lord is on the organ and keyboards. And Ian Pace is on the drums. We're going to listen to Side One from Made in Japan, and I am pumped for it. I hope you are as well. Let's get it, y'all. Off we go. Okay, they're getting revved up. Polite applause. Oh, they realize what it is. They're like, oh yes, very good. Highway Star. Highway Star. sound my car is. It's been a long time. 
time since I heard this. or play along or just enjoy myself, y'all. This is overwhelmingly good. Okay. Mr. Blackmore. That's the floor. C. A. D. Take my money, Richie. Toes hanging out in that. But this car is going to break the speed of sound. <laughs> Lead it. It's a mad hurricane. Absolutely. 
classic. Crowd loves it. Woo! I remember reading hey! about... Hello. Thank you very much. That's the new one. You're welcome. I'm going to stop it for a second before it rolls into the next, um, the next song. As I recall from my review of the Machine Head album, I remember looking into this. Uh, Machine Head, or I should say Highway Star, was written really quickly. And they were on their tour bus and they were just improvising and riffing. And uh, then they refined the song on their sound check, and then they performed it the same night for the very first time. Just written in one day. And it's one of those classic rock tunes that just manifests itself in, a, in, in an afternoon. And 50 plus years later, we're still grooving to it. You know, it's okay to talk about fast cars. We like that. That never goes out of style. Y'all, that's really fun. That's really fun. So let's get to uh, Child in Time. You know, this is a song that is a song of its time. You know, it's an anti-Vietnam War protest song, and it's considered one of the premier uh, prog rock pieces in the repertoire. And uh, Deep Purple originally released this uh, in the summer of 1970. Uh, and... Uh, along with you know the first two albums from Black Sabbath, uh, around the same time, that album, uh, Deep Purple and Rock, uh, provided a pretty firm uh, foundation for the musical movement that would become heavy metal. And so we're listening to some heavy rock and some of the beginnings of what's going to become the aesthetic for heavy metal uh, in the years to come. And so let's get to it, y'all. I've heard this before, but I'm really eager to hear it again. It's Child in Time by Deep Purple from Made in Japan. Off we go. And I just hit play from the same spot. Okay, good. Crowd knows this one. Love the little percussion on the sim on the on the symbols there. I'm not still not quite in tune, am I? I'm a little flat from where they are. Sweet child in time, you'll see the line. The line that's drawn between good and bad. I could listen to him sing all day. The bullets are flying and taking a toll. Flat seven. Bum, bum, bum. Back to A minor. Sounds great, doesn't it? It's right off my vinyl, y'all. The vinyl these days are thicker and they sound so good. Just great. Uncompressed audio. Sorry, I'm out of key, but it's May Ray Do, but it's a high note. Uh, hmm. He's gonna get even higher too, right? Can't even try to sing that high, y'all. High E. 
just emoting the angst of the time. Condemnation. You don't even need words, you just need the sound. Back and forth between triplets and sixteenth notes in that fill. I could come back to this song once a month and I don't think you're tired of it. Are they double timing it? I think they are. It's kind of a straight ahead uh, riff in A. get faster for the solos here. Yeah, the bass is moving around and filling out the scale, but still just sticking on that A chord. And Richie's just soloing over the top of the same chord. John, they listen to each other. John starts anticipating the beat a little bit. Listen to Richie! And they all come in and start Right? get where heavy metal comes from, right? And a song like this, which allows for an open, extended expression of guitar power. Driven by the bass, driven by 4-4 time, driving beat, you know? likes that pattern, he keeps doing it. Back into the original riff. After all of that energy gets expressed, 
come back to the, the main idea. And I love how they're just playing, not necessarily recreating what they've done in the studio. They feel free to just be in the moment and so some things aren't going to be the same as what you may have heard on the studio recording. It's the same words. Verse 1 and verse 2, same words. They're just telling you again. See the blind man shooting at the world, bullets flying, taking a toll. Close your eyes, bow your head, and wait for the ricochet. Meaning, we're all in line for this if something doesn't change. Because this shit ricochets. And look how soft he is. It's not easy to do. Drumming is top notch here, too. That's just too out of key. amazing. He can do nothing except just emote like that and scream it out because they're so upset at what's going on in the world. It goes down to the, f to the minor five. Down to the E. Okay. Are we going into battle? Big dominant prolongation, extending out this delayed resolution. Bum, bum, bum. We were. Listen to the bass. What a side of music. Only two songs. But I don't know, I might I might listen to, to that side several times before I turn it over. So there you have it, friends. Side one from Made in Japan from Deep Purple. I wish my keyboard was more in tune. <laughs> Could play along a lot more. You know, I think that's uh, uh, happens more with these older recordings as they get shifted to, to tape or anything, they just get slightly 
I think, faster, which gets them slightly sharp, uh, which is why I sounded a little flat when I played along with them. takes a lot out of you, you know? If you're invested in what they're doing and emoting along with them, I'm tired <laughs> after listening to that. Wow. Uh, I found a quote that Ian Gillen gave uh, about this particular song that we just heard, Child in Time. He says, there are two sides to that song, the musical side and the lyrical side. On the musical side, there was this song called Bombay Calling by a band called uh, It's a Beautiful Day. I don't know that song or that band, y'all. And he says it was fresh and original uh, when John was uh, one day playing it at his keyboard. It sounded good and we thought that we would play around with it, change it a bit and do something new, keeping that as a basis, okay? But then I had never heard the original Bombay Calling, so when we created the song, we used the Cold War as the lyrical theme and wrote the lines, sweet child in time, you'll see the line. That's how the lyrical side came in. And then John ended up getting the keyboard parts ready and Richie had the guitar parts ready and the song basically reflected the mood of the moment. And that's why it became so popular. Well, that and the performance itself, Ian. I mean, there's not too many people that could pop out that high A like you were doing. Uh, in that uh, in that fashion and have it be just something that we can all join in with um, you know I I was born after the Vietnam War was was complete my dad just missed the draft I have older uncles my dad has older brothers that got drafted into Vietnam he ended up not having to go and uh, you know I grew up in the Cold War and then uh, I was, um, you know, I was in my early to mid twenties when uh, when 9/11 happened, and then and then that war came about, and I've been just against conflict like that, armed conflict like that, all over the world, wherever it is. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm not for it. I think there's better ways to solve our differences. And uh, it's, it's just a damn shame that arm bloody conflict continues uh, all across the world, you know, in patches. It's, it's largely a, uh, a safer world now than, than we've ever had it, you know, but we have these, these big time weapons that can destroy quite a bit in a short amount of time, don't we? So this, uh, this song, Child in Time, um, it's, it, it's a double entendre. It's meaning a child of that time. We're having a naive look at it. We're having a, um, why is that happening? Sort of, you know, but we're in that, you know, in time, we'll be caught up in it just as well. So it works in a couple of different ways. And uh, that's why I think songs like this really do stand the test of time because it's something that's not going out of style. Humans lining up to uh, fight other humans, you know? And um, it, um, it's just a shame that that continues to happen. I hope that we can, you know, sometimes learn <laughs> from our past mistakes. Um, sometimes our past mistakes was not getting into a fight soon enough. So, you know, you have to take them one at a time. And see, but uh, it was a lot of fun listening to side one from um, from Made in Japan. I love this purple album. What's on side two? Side two is Smoke on the Water and the Mule. So before long, it's just those songs on side two. So before long, we'll get to those as well. But it's been really great to start off this journey with Made in Japan with Deep Purple and all of you. I thank you for being with me uh, for this and for all this week. And we'll have some more from Made in Japan coming up. Uh, I'll do a side at a time over the next uh, several months. So stay tuned for more from Made in Japan. But that is all for today, my friends. Thank you for being with me. And we'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug. It's The Daily Doug. Welcome to The Daily Doug. The Daily